another Walmart grocery haul for you guys oh you guys I am like crying inside I am dying inside because I spent $400 on groceries today you guys as you can see what I got and I just feel like I didn't get very much like at all Looking back to even like six months ago I feel like I would have gotten so much more for $400. I don't know you guys, I think we're gonna have to take a trip to Winco so I can really see how much I can get at Winco for $400 because I can swear that I would definitely get more at Winco for my money. Don't quote me on that, maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like some of my past videos from Winco, I have more. And I don't know if that's because we had went to Grocery Outlet the last time and I feel like, you know, I got more. Um, because Grocery Outlet obviously is a discounted grocery store, so everything in there is at a really low ball price already. So we did get a lot of stuff from that trip. Um, but it's just the convenience of Walmart Plus, you guys. I don't have to drag the kids out, you know, for two hours to go grocery shopping. I can just have it delivered right to my door um, and continue on about my day. Um, so anyways, yeah, I spent $400. There are a couple items missing. Um, there is one item missing from my stockpile haul um, at the end of this video so definitely stay tuned till the end of this video to see what I got in my beginner friendly stockpile haul this week yeah there is one more thing coming for my stockpile haul and then I also got me a new bed spread you guys ah, I'm so so excited um, I did make a Timu haul for you guys. I'm not sure if that haul is going to be up before this video if it is I'll leave a link to it down below if it isn't um, then stay tuned and watch out for it because um, it definitely will be coming out for you guys. Um, so anyways, I have been buying stuff to redecorate my room and I just bought me a new bedspread. Um, so that's getting shipped from Walmart and then I also got me some like slides from Walmart. So as those come in, I will um, hop on here and show you guys. Oh, and I also got some like reusable like pouches um, for baby girl because we have tons of baby food in here. And she really likes like eating out of the pouches. So I wanted to put her baby food and some of those like reusable pouches for her. Instead of buying the reusable pouch baby food, we can use those up. So I also got some of those that are gonna be getting shipped from Walmart. Like you saw, I'm having my afternoon cup of coffee. I don't know what time is it. It is like four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but I didn't have my coffee this morning, you guys. Like I said, I ran out of coffee creamer yesterday, so I didn't get to have my coffee this morning. I am a coffee junkie, okay? I love my coffee. Coffee isn't for everyone, but it is definitely for me, and it is five o'clock somewhere, okay? I don't drink alcohol, but coffee is my thing, okay? I can have like two cups of hot coffee a day and an iced coffee. Horrible, I know. But I love it and it's what gets me through the day, okay? All right, my arm is burning, you guys. I don't have my tripod stick, my little selfie stick thing that I use um, because Gabriel girl is sleeping and I don't dare go in the room where it's located with her um, and wake her up. Without further ado, you guys, I'm going to show you guys everything that we got for these next two weeks. Alrighty, moving along to our little produce section. I've got some cilantro, we've got some strawberries. I've got three crowns of broccoli. We've got some sugar snap peas. Recently, um, for our baby girl's birthday party, 
if that vlog is out, I will link it down below for you guys. Definitely check out her birthday vlog. It was so much fun. So cute. I would love to relive that moment over and over again, you guys. Um, so hopefully that video will be up for the before this grocery haul. I'm pretty sure that it will. So definitely check out my description box. Um, but I had got like a veggie tray for the party and it had sugar snap peas in it. And Benjamin actually ended up liking it with ranch. Um, and he's not like a big vegetable person. So I thought this was going to be perfect as a snack for him, even for myself as well. Try to get Brody to hop on the train, but I highly doubt it because he is a super picky eater. We've also got some baby carrots here. We've got some red seedless grapes, you guys. These grapes look pretty good, except for that one, but they look pretty good. I've uh, got some mini cucumbers. I've got this romaine salad kit here. I've got two green peppers, one red pepper. I've got some corn on the cob. And then over here, you guys, I know I can make these myself, but it's just, you know, convenience when I'm super busy doing things. I can just say, hey, go in the fridge, grab one. There's your little snack tray. And I figured all of the kids can kind of share these um, between even baby girl because she is eating like actual real food now. She is one years old now, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So anyways, I got this Minecraft um, little like snackable thing. It comes with sliced apples, cheese, and cheese, cheese it crackers. And I've got two of like the knockoff lunchable pepperoni pizza lunchable things. I got this SpongeBob SquarePants um, snackable thing. It comes with apple slices, cheese, and chocolate pretzels. I've got this Paw Patrol one. It comes with some fruit snacks, some cheese, some cookies, some apples. And then this um, Minnie Mouse Foodles. It comes with cheese, apples, and goldfish and they are mini mouse goldfish super super cute so like i said the kids can share these for their snack times you guys i have been loving this starbucks vanilla latte for my iced coffee it is so good you don't have to add anything to it just get you a cup of ice pour this over the top of it and you are good to go really really good i highly recommend trying it because it is amazing i cannot find the duncan caramel iced coffee anywhere i don't know if they discontinued it if you know what i'm talking about and you know where i can find it or buy it tell me down below you guys because i have been going crazy trying to search for it and find it i absolutely love that stuff all right we've got two bottles of the fair life um two percent reduced fat milk um we did switch over to the lactose-free Fair Life, so I know you've probably seen in one of my grocery hauls that we had switched over to like oat milk and almond milk and i do get those from time to time but i literally completely forgot about lactose free milk and I used to get Fair Life all the time. So we are back on the Fair Life. I've got some of these guacamole cups. I've got some yogurt tubes. Some of my zero sugar cool whip for my coffee. And then also just to have like with a sweet treat like with some sliced strawberries. I've got some light sour cream, some um whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. I've got some eggs there. And then the, I've got two bottles of my Chobani um, sweet cream coffee creamer because I do not want to run out this time. So I got two of them. Um, this is my absolute favorite um, coffee creamer right now, you guys. I am loving it. I have been buying it religiously these last couple of grocery hauls. Um, so definitely give this a try if you haven't already. It is super, super good. So got that. Um, for some of the meats this week, um, I've got two packs of bacon here. I've got some shrimp. I want to make like a shrimp salad. I have been like craving shrimp, you guys. I don't know what it is, but I have been craving shrimp. And then I've also got um, a big bag of these pepperonis, which now that I think about it, I freaking forgot to get a DiGiorno pizza. I always pick up a DiGiorno pizza just for those days that we don't feel like cooking, but I forgot it. So we just put like extra pepperonis on our pizza and then also just to like snack on, you know, have a sandwich, whatever it may be. Um, oh, I skipped over these. Now, I don't know where these came from because I didn't order these. Um, so I don't know if maybe they switched something out. I'm gonna have to look back at my order and see what's going on with this, but they gave me this traditional pulled rotisserie chicken and then this fajita seasoned chicken, um, which I'm not complaining. We will definitely use this. It's already cooked so I can make like tacos for the kids, um, you know, quesadillas. I can freeze one of them. So um, I'm definitely not complaining about it, but I definitely want to know what got switched out for this. So anyways, we got that. Got some heavy whipping cream. I plan on making some homemade um, 
biscuits this weekend for breakfast and I've got some of the I can't believe it's not butter spray and then I got two packs of these really fun Pillsbury ghost sugar cookie dough cookies for the kids I thought these would be fun for them to bake and have um, so I got two of these I originally got one ghost one and one pumpkin but they were out so they just substituted for the two ghosts which is completely fine so I got them two of those um, this was a substitution, which I'm actually kind of sad about. I mean, I do like chicken egg rolls. They were good, but I originally got some dumplings, which, oh my God, dumplings are so amazing, you guys. I was looking forward to dumplings and making like some shrimp fried rice, um, but apparently not. So I'm going to have to find some dumplings somewhere else. Um, so they switched it out for these chicken egg rolls, which is totally fine. Got two boxes of these TV dinners. It comes with chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, and a brownie. Just a super quick dinner or lunch for the kids. Um, so I've got those, and then I've got some of these um, breakfast biscuit roll-ups. It comes with egg, ham, and cheese um, for a quick breakfast item for Ben in the morning. I'm not sure if Brody would eat this. Like I said, he's a super picky eater, and he doesn't like egg anyway. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe baby girl will eat this. That would be great if she would. Um, so yeah, I got some of those. So got some buttermilk pancakes and some mini pancakes. These are like staples in our house now. Um, I also do buy like homemade, like the boxes of pancake mix that I can make myself, but not every day am I wanting to make like homemade pancakes. So we opt for convenience some days, super quick, super easy. I can just throw it on the plate. There you go, warm it up, there you go. So yeah, got some of those. Um. I've got some bagel things for bagels. I figured we can do like a sausage McMuffin with these or even just have like regular bagels. I've got some jerky sticks for the boys for snacks. Um, I got these sweetened dried blueberries. I'm not sure if the kiddos are gonna like this. I was hoping baby girl would like this. Uh, maybe even the boys. So I just wanted to try something new. So hopefully they like this as a snack. Got some of Benjamin's Holy Grail, the Hot Fudge Sunday Pop Tarts. I've got some of these Go Go Squeeze yogurts in the strawberry and banana flavor. All of the kiddos love these, so this has definitely become a staple. So I've got those. And then I've got some of these Eggo Mini Cinnamon Toast Waffles. Everybody loves these, you guys. Literally everyone in this household loves these. And these are just a super quick breakfast item that I can make or even a snack item for the kids. I also picked up some of these country um, gravy packet mix. I plan on making some biscuits and gravy for breakfast one day. Um, so I picked up two of those. And then I've got four bags of taco rice. Um, everyone really likes this. Um, well, actually, they substituted two of them for the Mexican rice because I guess they were out, which is totally fine. Um, I don't think I've had this one, but I have not been let down by the Nor rice sides. Um, I've liked every single one of them that I've tried so far. Um, so, yeah, we've got some of those. And then back here, I've got some of this chocolate fudge cake mix. I've got two boxes of those. My sister's birthday is coming up. She's going to be turning 21. Woo -woo. And so we are throwing her a little party here. Um, with her friends and she requested chocolate fudge cupcakes and funfetti cupcakes which i already have a bunch of funfetti in my back stock but i didn't have any chocolate so i got two of those and then staples um for my beans this week i got this 15 bean soup um which looked really good my husband's grandma actually made one of these one time and it was so amazing it was really really good Oh look, it says it comes with a seasoning packet. So that's actually really, really cool. So I picked that up this week. And then also my five pound bag of rice. If you have been following me, you know I am a prepper. I do stockpile um, in every grocery trip. I get dry beans and white rice to go into my stockpile. Moving over here, I've got some vanilla frosting. I do make my own frosting, um, but I plan on making some pumpkin muffins this weekend because it just sounds really good. We are in fall season. We are in October as I'm filming this. Um, so it just sounds really good and I don't feel like making my own frosting. So I just got a can of it. So I've got that. I got two of the rice pilaf rice aronis. Got some of these old El Paso um, taco shells for a quick taco meal. Got some of these roasted red bell peppers. I plan on making some kind of dish with this. I've got some of those. 
got some green taco sauce and some red taco sauce. We were running low, so I've got those. And some ketchup. For my canned goods this week, I've got some butter beans, which is so funny because growing up, I used to hate these things. I thought they were disgusting. I used to absolutely hate when my parents would serve these. And now that I'm older, I really, really love them. I feel like if you doctor them up the right way, they taste really, really good. And then I also got these um, Glory, which this brand right here, Glory Foods, is really good. I have never been disappointed by them. Um, and this is their green beans with potatoes. So I'm very interested to try these. I've never had those before. So I picked up some of those. Five cans of pinto beans. I've got five cans of the smaller things of tomato sauce. And five cans of the big tomato sauce. And then five cans of the refried beans as well. We were just running low on some of our stockpile items for our canned goods. So I'm just replenishing that. And then we are all out of Fabuloso. So I've got that. This is my favorite scent to throw in when I'm mopping. And then I also got these 80 bags of the gallon storage bags because we are running low on that as well. So yeah, you guys, that is everything that I got. I cannot believe I was actually able to get through this grocery haul, you guys. Right now she is currently teething. Ugh, I feel like her teeth are just coming in back to back to back to back. I feel like there's hardly a break. Maybe I get like a week or two break before she's teething again. Um, she has like what, like six teeth. Um, and one of them is just taking forever to break through the grums. So yesterday she was super fussy, super clingy. I couldn't even take one step away from her and she's instantly crying. Um, she's fighting me super hard to go to sleep. So right now she is sleeping good, you guys, which means she's going to be up all night, which it is what it is. I am used to being up all night and pulling all nighters with her. Um, her schedule is just so out of whack, especially when she gets sick or when she starts teething. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy that I got through this grocery haul. Um, so like I said, um, I do have like three things coming in, um, that are going to be shipped to me. And as they come in, I will show you guys, um, because that is included with the $400 that I spent here. Now I'm going to show you guys everything that I got for my beginner friendly stockpile haul. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like I said, I am a prepper. I do stockpile things. Um, I do have, I'm going to link the video down below where I go into detail and I explain what I am doing, what this series is, what it's all about and how it could possibly benefit you. So definitely check out that video down below, um, before you watch this video and maybe watch my other couple of videos of all the series. I'll link all of my series down below. Um, uh, but this is my beginner friendly stockpile haul and I'm going to show you guys now everything that I got. All right, you guys, so here is my beginner friendly stockpile haul this week. Um, so as you can see, we've got some sugars here. Um, I originally ordered two things of sugar, but I guess they were out, so they only gave me one. Um, but that is fine. I can pick up more sugar next grocery trip. Um, so I picked up some regular granulated sugar, and then I also picked up two packs of the light brown sugar. Why sugar? In the event that you don't have a lot of money coming in, or like I've said before, things get crazy and you can't get to the grocery store or there are no grocery stores, you're gonna want sugars in your pantry. Because making sweets, you guys, is definitely going to help bring people together. In times of need, in times of stress, in times of loss, these Baking goods can bring people together and it just can lighten up the mood. So you want to be able to have sugar in your in your pantry. And not only is it great to bring people together, it also tastes really good, right? It might not be great for you, but having sweets on hand is definitely going to bring people together. And if people are stressed out, frustrated, you know, especially if you lost your job or you don't have employment at the moment, times can be stressful trying to pay for bills and take care of your family and feed your family. So in those situations, having something sweet to eat is going to lower those stress levels. So I always like to keep sugar on hand for my baking needs. I also picked up some taco seasoning this week. Like I said before, you can pick up whatever seasoning it is that your family likes. Maybe you like to make your own taco seasoning. Pick up some chili powder, pick up some garlic powder, onion powder, whatever it is that you put in your own taco seasoning. But I picked up some taco seasoning this week and this is the Ortega brand. We really like this one, so I got that one. Over here, I've got some cut green, canned green beans. 
five cans of vegetables this week, you guys. Any canned vegetable of your choice, as long as it is in a can, because like I said, we wanna have canned vegetables, canned protein, canned fruit on hand, because the canned goods are gonna last a lot longer. Um, so you have these green beans here. Let's see, let's look at the expiration date. Um, so we have August, 2026, you guys. So as you can see, this will last a while. And like I've mentioned before, canned goods can last a lot longer than their expiration date. As long as you are taking care of the cans, they are in good condition. Like this one has like a dent on the side. So you're definitely gonna wanna use this one up first um, and storing them in a cool, dry place. So storing them in a garage, if you live somewhere where it's super hot is not ideal, you guys. Um, so five cans of vegetables of your choice this week. I picked up green beans this week because I wanted to replenish my green beans. Um, so I got green beans. Um, this week for our emergency prep, I picked up some double A batteries. These were on sale for like 12 something, you guys. I think they were originally like $16. So not that much off, but you got a few bucks off, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I usually get my batteries from Sam's Club because you can get so many batteries for like 20 bucks. Um, but we didn't make it down to Sam's Club, this grocery trip. Um, so batteries this week, you guys, whatever it may be, we were actually in need of AA batteries. So that's why I picked up AA, but maybe you need AAA or maybe you need some other type of battery. Pick up some batteries. You definitely want to have batteries in your arsenal in case the power goes out. You need batteries for your lanterns, for flashlights, whatever the case may be. Um, you definitely want to have batteries on hand. So got some of those. For our hygiene this week, I've got some toilet paper. Um, I just picked up these 12 mega rolls um, of, in the Angel Soft brand. Um, like I've said before, we are stocking up on hygiene as well because when you don't have money coming in, you need to be able to have things to keep up on your hygiene like shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, all of those things. So I've got some toilet paper and like I've mentioned before, you can get a smaller roll than this. You can get a single roll. You can get a huge roll, whatever the case may be, but pick up some toilet paper this this week, you guys, because you don't want to be without toilet paper. We all know what happened when COVID came. Toilet paper was so scarce to find, you guys. So definitely stock up on your toilet paper. And yeah, that's going to be it for this week's beginner friendly stockpile haul. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I got today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this haul as much as I enjoy filming it for you guys. Now I'm going to get all of this food put away and I need to start dinner. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for always tuning in to my grocery hauls. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, which lets me know that you love watching my grocery hauls. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next grocery haul.